Welcome to a really weird tutorial. It's like this. Leadership, remote leadership training um, is something that I do a lot of. And there's always the element of how do I create connection? How do I build psychological safety? Which means that we need a different tool than just saying, let's do a work uh, after work session in Zoom or in Teams. Because we all know what that's like. You have the grid, you have a gallery view. And when you have 17 people in your team or 50 people in your team or five people in, the, in your team, it is stiff. I mean, it is really difficult. If you have 12, 14, 15 people in a grid and you are all standing there with a glass of whatever and you're saying, okay, have a good weekend. Uh, what are you up to this weekend? And then there's a pause and then four people try to speak at the same time, not the introverts. And it's like, Ah, uh, this is nowhere near a, a real session where we sit in, in a room together. So this is the thing. There are so many different options uh, around. There's Wonder, there's uh, Branch, uh, a lot of really good, good options for the social dimension. I'm using uh, Spatial Chat. I'm not sponsored or promoted or anything by them. I just, right now, they're the cutting edge and I, I prefer to use them. And um, there's a free version and there's a pricey version. I think we have the semi pricey version where we can have five different rooms, as you can see to the right here. I've arranged, I can arrange everything. I can put videos that are looping. I can put um, instructions like here, basic instructions, teaching people to move around. They can move the background a bit also, and they can zoom in and out so that if we're really close to each other, standing next to each other, we can see each other. As an administrator or as a presenter, I have presenter mode down here where I can broadcast or I can use a megaphone and just cut through every conversation in, 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 the, in every room, uh, giving you instructions. So here's how, how I use it. If we go into, for example, psychological safety and uh, zoom out a bit so that you can see, I've just created this room just with a couple of basics. Up here, we have the four stages of psychological safety to the right, and if you zoom in, uh, you'll be able to read and see, and you can stand three, four people here discussing it. And if there's more people, it'll be kind of messy. So if I zoom out, I can go down to the right here. I fear that you'll be embarrassed or... And listen to Tim Clark, who is the author of the book, The Four Stages of Psychological Safety. That's a two minute introduction loop where it just explains the four stages. Not in important now, but super important generally. So here's the thing, over here, to the left, if I put my mouse over, I can see Bob is standing there. Well, it's not Bob, it's my iPad in the living room where I just rigged it so that you have a, an audio of someone speaking. If I move closer, let's just zoom in here so you get a better view. If I'm moving closer, the moment that I can see Bob's video feed, there, then I know... I can listen to him. I can listen to Bob and I can see his video. He can see me. The so, moment I'm, I'm away, I cannot see him anymore. Now, you hear a female voice, and that's actually Brené Brown, who's explaining the difference between empathy and sympathy. And it's kind of noisy because the closer I get, that knows that feeling. The, the louder she sounds. Rarely, if ever. So I, I'll move her away because I want to talk to Bob over here about this video clip. And maybe we think that it's kind of noisy, so I can move away so I don't hear Brandy Brown's lovely voice. Now this is the key to everything here. This means that, okay, I'm getting disturbed by Bob speaking, so I move away. Now, you can have 50 people in this room, moving in tiny clusters, I can give instructions over the megaphone, and we can just hang with each other. And if we have a workout, uh, yeah, that would be nice, but if we have an after work, uh, a chill out session, you know, just gathering the team, not having the stiff uh, Zoom or Teams moment with breakout sessions in trios, instead, we can go into the chill out lounge bar that I've arranged. Now, the reason you hear this music is because I have here... Hi there. So, I'm gonna... so I've arranged this room with up to the right there's a bit of just a nice painting, nice photo and some chill out music. It sounds like this. 
looping for a couple of hours if, if you're here that long. Down here, really this guy. Easy. Your right handed leg, you'll start with your right leg sticking out first. If this you're guy, it'll be your left leg. In two minutes, he's looping an instruction for a break dance move. If that's your thing. And up here, there's an Australian bartender instructing you how to do uh, an espresso martini just as the conversation started. Mm -hmm. So we start with 30 mils of. And he's doing that, and you notice I move in to here, I system. move away to not be, you know, uh, overpowered by that, by that. Over here, just some chill out music with a nice background. So I can be in this room with my team. I can give them instructions over the megaphone, let's move around, find someone else to speak to, or I can just let them do their own thing, because it's very intuitive. I move closer to two or three people, and then they see me and they say, come over here, Patrick, and they almost shout. And, and we have to de-learn some of the stuff that we've learned in the remote leadership sessions, which means that here you have to act intuitively. I get questions sometimes, what do I do if I'm standing next to two people who are speaking really loudly? And I say, what would you do in a real conference room? Then we're gonna probably move away a couple of steps. Yeah. So then you move your little avatar away, just a couple of steps. And if you're speaking closely with someone, you can zoom in so that you can see each other's gestures and... Okay, so we can play around. I have the reflection area here also. I've rigged five rooms for different settings. The reflection area is just, you know, very zen, meditative, where people go to reflect in different trios or in quartets. I can arrange lineups where I just place the background. I switch the background to zero to ten arrows and I ask them okay from zero to ten how much are you struggling with coaching place yourself along the line and they do that and then I say okay talk to the person next to you just for a couple of minutes and they do that so this is right now cutting edge spatial chat again not sponsored I wish I were but um, shout out to the people behind spatial chat but the thing is here I can run self-development processes, leadership development processes, group processes, but we can also go, go into places like the Chill Out Lounge Bar. I have arranged it so that when my people go there or when programs go there, they can just chill out and have an after work, like in the good old days, except, you know, without the traveling. Do whatever you want with this. Have fun. Bye-bye.